Hello, I'm David DeHilster, and I'm starting something new. I was doing podcasts before a couple of years ago, but now people are starting to listen to them and really like them. But I always said, I thought myself that I should start a YouTube channel and just rant the way I do normally to my friends and on, online and on Facebook, because I'm very strong opinions about science, what's going on out there, because I've been involved with a lot of the greatest critical thinkers of our time in the last 20 years. So here I am. Boca Raton, Florida. So I'm going to be making these uh, hopefully very frequently and just rant a few minutes and talk a few minutes. But right now, I'd like to talk about genius. This episode of Einstein, you can see my shirt here, Einstein, uh, called Genius. And I've been pushing back on the Facebook Einstein, Facebook, the Facebook site of Einstein. And every time I see something go up there, I try to get people to start, start thinking about the idea that we are in worship mode. And that is, when we say genius, we are worshiping. Genius itself doesn't really mean anything. It's a vacuous statement. Genius is who we want to annoy to be genius. Tiger Woods is the genius of golf, or at least was. Mozart was a genius in music. Uh, Einstein was the genius in science. The problem is, is genius is an illusion. These are real people. They're not gods. They're not. Their brains don't develop more than others. In fact, if you look at kids who are supposedly genius at an early age, all they are are accelerating their their learning curve. They get to college earlier. They graduate earlier. But then they don't go to be people with brains three times as smart as the the, the smartest person. So this idea that there's something special, we humans crave this idea of genius. We want to believe that in this chaotic world where nothing seems to go right, where people don't seem to have character, people aren't that smart, we want to believe there are these special people. And there are very special people, I would call, on the top of their game. But there's no such thing as genius. Genius is an illusion. we got to stop it. And I'm just not... I'm really getting mad at this genius new episodes of genius by Ron, Ron Howard and st starring Academy Award winner Jeffrey Rush. If you ask the average person on the street who is Einstein, most of them won't know what kind of scientist. They'll probably know he's a scientist, but they won't even know he's a physicist. I've seen some of those types of interviews. Maybe I'll do some of that. But I again, we are worshiping. We're making him into this thing he is not. Folks, he's wrong, and he's wrong in a lot of ways. And I'm going to talk, be talking about that. You can hate, you can hate everything you want about me or dissident science or dissident scientists, but what we call ourselves is critical. We are critical thinkers. That is, you just because you tell me, just because I sit in class and you say, as you go close to the speed of light, mass increases doesn't mean I have to believe it or uh, cha not challenge it. I can challenge that, and many people have. And again, that's what this whole YouTube channel is going to be about. So I welcome you. I hope when you watch a genius, you realize this is fluff, fluff, fluff. And I will talk more about that, uh, specifically about Einstein and a guy I, in fact, uh, interviewed. And that is something that was, was really re revealing. I, I did a, um, a documentary film starting in 2005, ended around 2013, a lot, lot of years. And I interviewed in that for that film, but it never made it into it because he refused to put it in was a, a, a guy, Rosenberg, I believe this was his name, and he was a friend of Einstein's in his last number of years at Princeton. He was an electrical engineer. And I get, I get these phone calls in the middle of the night after I have, had, had interviewed him, at literally something like 11.30, uh, 12, 12 o'clock at night, and I get these phone calls, and, and, and I said, who is this? He goes, Jack. So Jack who? Jack Rosenberg. Again, I, I'm pretty sure that's it was his name. Um, I forgot to tell you, um, did you know who the, the best musician in the world was, is? And I said, 
no. He says, Mozart. And then I asked him, well, why do you say that? Because, well, Einstein, that was his favorite musician. So Einstein's genius picked Mozart, and therefore, because he's a genius, Mozart is the best musician that ever lived. I got another call from him weeks later, and he goes, David, this is Jack again. I go, oh, hey, what's up, Jack? He goes, oh, I forgot to tell you, you know who the funniest man in the world is? And I said, no, I don't know, Jack. And he said, oh, that's um, uh, Groucho Marx. And I said, well, why is that? He goes, well, that was Einstein's favorite comedian. And I'm thinking to myself, folks, this is not a person who is looking at science. This is a person into the fame of this person, living off the fame of that person, and knowing someone famous. And it was had nothing to do with science. You never heard him talk about, um, well, what about relativity, special and general relativity? You don't, there's some problems with that. Have you, have you ever thought of that? No. He talked about Einstein knowing all the stories he had. And of course, when I sent him the, the release for the film, it had, had to have the title on it, which was Einstein Wrong. And he immediately, when I sent it to him, he called me up and says, David, is this the title of the film? I go, yeah. He goes, can I rip this up? I go, yeah. So not in my film. But it all have, ha, comes down to this worship. We want to worship people. Ron Howard, I saw him talking about this, and he said, well, we want to, I think what the idea is, Trump's uh, anti-climate change, and therefore we have to prop up our, our, our great uh, 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 scientists so that we, we get kids to get into science. Well, Mr. Ron Howard, did you ever take a look at the science behind the genius of Einstein? If you did, you'd find a bunch of problems. And again, we're going to be talking about lots of this on, on this channel. So stay tuned. If you're watching Genius, oh my God, I can't watch it. I'll probably throw a brick at the TV because it's going to be all production and very little about what the science actually is other than trying to explain what it should be and what you're, what the people who are making the film are taught by the physicists and then they try to make it in a way that you understand it. Of course the the people listening to it including the general audience listens to what's going on in Genius and they go wait a minute you know if I go the space-time what is it? You know you're talking about it bends and all this what is it? Well they don't know what it is. And if you take space and you take time, well, it's another story. I hope you are going to enjoy this channel. Again, I was doing podcasts, but uh, I may in fact just do the audios in the podcast, but you can check this all out at dissidentscience.com. Uh, I don't have this channel on it yet, but I certainly will. And I'm going to see how this flies. But I think you know, I usually have lots of uh, interesting conversations with friends, and I think, let's put it online, because I think I speak a lot of people's minds. So stay critically thinking. Stay dissident. Don't believe someone who tells you something. Truth is not what your professor says. Your professor says what we think is going on or what he thinks is going on. Use your own brain. Just like we become critical thinking in politics, thank goodness we need to start to do the same thing in science. When your science teacher says, oh yeah, space uh, uh, length contracts, time slows down, and mass increases as you get speed of light, you, you have the right to say, why? Why? Well, I hope to see you soon on our next um, YouTube channel broadcast. So take care. Stay critically thinking. Cheers.